Do you guys like Persian food? Well, today I brought you along with me to this place called Shamshiri, which is one of the most highly rated, authentic Irani places around in Toronto. So let me take you guys along with me. All right, guys. So right in front of us, we have a ridiculously massive feast at Shamshiri. Right over here, you've got the chicken kubi day. And this is the family platter right there. The family platter is actually this plus the rice, the Barbary, beautiful Barbary rice that you see, Barbary and saffron rice right over here. Right over here, you have one of the most famous uh, chicken fasanjans too, which is basically chicken chunks marinated with a walnutty, herby kind of stew itself. And then the auntie was really nice. She brought us something that is uh, basically just like uh, pomegranate uh, syrup. You've got lots of pomegranates on there. It's basically like molasses with nuts and just spice heaven galore right over here. With a grilled tomato to add to that smoky goodness right there. Uh, additionally, you have one of the main dishes in Persian cooking, which is the lamb neck, braised lamb neck with saffron rice, some barberry on top of that. And then you've got the lamb shank right over there with a little bit of what you see as barista or fried onions. Finally, you also have the eggplant mash right over here. Eggplant mash does have pomegranate paste in it, which is a very regular and cool pattern in uh, Persian cooking overall. And then you've got some olives over here as well, which are basically just stewed in pomegranate paste, molasses. This is gonna be quite this feast. I am completely blown. Let's dig right in. I'll show you guys what it's like. Let's go. Additionally, I totally missed out. There's Iran as well. And they also, with every Persian meal, they always started out with a beautiful salad right over here, which to me is a really good concept because it just sets your stomach in for like a good meal at the start. We came here mainly for the family platter. So we're gonna be digging right in. Uh, the auntie was really nice. She wanted to show us all the heavy hitters in the store. And uh, I 100% believe you should come down here because of just the smells right here. It's like, it'll pull you towards it. Let's go. All right, guys. So <laughs> this is uh, a blast of a feast. I'm just going to start right in into one of the first items that I can find my hands on. This just blew my mind. This blew all of our minds over here. Uh, this is some really fantastic stuff right here. Just to show you guys, this place is absolutely packed. Take a look. Mom and dad are right over there. They're having fun. Ma Baba, how is it so far? So yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to dig right in. I'm going to start first off by the saffron rice with the barberry in it. Uh, rice smells ridiculously beautiful. I need some cutlery. Let's go. So first off, just the rice by itself. Super flavorful, supremely flavorful. Initially, I was a little overwhelmed just by looking at the sheer size of the food that came to our table. The auntie was super, super, super nice. Like, I think it's a family run business over here and it's just absolutely phenomenal as to like how they, there's constant influx of traffic. So I know for a fact that I came at a ridiculously good spot this was suggested to me by some really close Persian friends of mine and kudos to you guys, this is, uh, <laughs> this is amazing. Alright, let's dig into the kubide. Chicken kubide is basically Persian take on uh, chicken skewers or chicken um, kebabs and you can tell, you can tell, take a look, take a look at the kubide right there, looks so beautiful, right? Super succulent, super juicy. The piece of chicken is actually pretty huge. And it breaks up. Let me show you. It just broke up so easily. And it's like I can see the juices oozing out of it, guys. Let me show you a little up close what it looks like. So let me show you up close what the kubide looks like, guys. As you can see, super super juicy like kind of broke it up easily breaks up and it's like so glistening with juices inside man this is this is beautiful epos <laughs> all right guys moment of truth kubide and a little bit of rice Ooh.
absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I don't think I've ever had chicken kubide at a Persian place that is so perfect. You have the smokiness of the chicken. It's super juicy as soon as you bite into it. It's like the juices of the chicken just like poof, bursts out. That <laughs> feels supremely good, man. Supremely good. It's been grilled just right. It's not overtly smoky. It's not overtly non-spiced. This is just the right amount of umami kind of flavor. I'm not sure if it's the right context to use umami in this, but I don't have any other word to describe how beautiful it is tasting. Like it has a little bit of a yogurty kind of taste. It has a little bit sourness from the barberry. Once I bit into the barberry, just everything. Like this, this food right here evokes good emotion into you. So for sure, come over here. <laughs> Alright guys, the second thing that I want to show to you guys is a vegetarian thing and this is basically the eggplant uh, stew or the eggplant dish. That was literally what it was called on the menu. So I'm just gonna go off of the menu but right off the bat, I can smell and I can see that there's a lot of fried garlic, fried shallots, um, there's also walnuts on top of it if you can see right over here. That's, uh, there's walnut paste inside of it as well. The, the white stuff that you see, that's basically walnut paste. And that's the fried garlic, fried shallots, and it's all on a bed of uh, mashed roasted eggplants. Let's try this out now. Big dollop. I'm super excited. So, and you should be too because man if i could convey the way it smells through the camera that it's just uh, this is heaven this is in the face of heaven right now seeing something that's vegetarian that smells so beautifully good supremely amazing right it's a really cool uh, experience eggplant mash is a very common kind of a framework that you would find in many middle eastern uh, basically in most of West Asia, Central Asia and also including India. Uh, in India we call it uh, Began Bhatta but you will find a eggplant mash recipe in broadly majority of the cultures from India all the way through to the west of Asia. So I'm super excited to try this out because I like eggplant in all different forms so this is gonna be awesome. Let me tell you what it tastes like. Super good guys, super good. So you've got, you've got a flavor hit. It's not too spicy, but it's really flavorful. You get a little hit of walnut paste in it. You get the, the garlic becomes a little sticky in your teeth, which tastes really good because it's like constant juices of garlic that are in my mouth now. Um, aside from that, there's a specific herb that I cannot place what that is but it's also flavoring the eggplant mash itself and it tastes really good 10 out of 10 for this absolutely like it's a very uh, warm kind of dish like as soon as you uh, eat it it feels very warm in your mouth and it's just going down really warm as well like this is one of the perfect like wintery dish I would say um, so yeah absolutely come over here try out the eggplant dish as well 10 out of 10 let me have it with a little bit more rice this time. Mm. Really good. Also, let me try it out with a little bit of the naan. Persian naan. I think it's it's something called lavash bread. That's what it looks like. It's pretty thin. Very breaks apart easily. Let me try this out now. Mm. Now with the naan, it tastes slightly different. You can fully feel the flavors of the eggplant at that point. Really good. I personally prefer it with the rice, but with the naan, it feels a little easier to uh, kind of put it all down. Okay. Uh. 
Yeah, I added this something for the taste. No, no, it, this is ridiculously good. Like, I mean, the taste, the flavor, everything. We we try a lot of different Persian places, and this like you can taste the difference in the food. Yeah. So this is kubi de and this is uh, no, no, chicken. No, chicken kubi de. Chicken kubi de. Is chicken leg and chicken breast. Okay. okay. Chicken yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to correct myself because I called this kubi de. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Chicken kubi de. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicken, yes, yes. yeah. And chicken leg and chicken breast. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So minor mistake on my part. This is chicken kubi de, right over here that you see. That's chicken kubi de, and this is basically minced chicken kebab. The other one that I tried right before this was the chicken breast kebab and then I will also try the chicken leg kebab for you guys to figure out what the difference is. They look similar to each other, do have a little difference in terms of how they taste. So let's try this out. Chicken kubide it is. Let's try the kebab just by itself and as you can see again, breaks up like that. The juices are like just super moist and super juicy. So let's try. Boss, that umami flavor, you just can't describe it, right? Like, it feels like a yogurt, like a very thick yogurt marinade that well, the chicken has on top of it. But there's no, there's no marinade coming off of it. It tastes super, super rich in texture and flavor. You can definitely taste saffron that was added in the marinade for this particular kebab. Hence, it gets that color, the beautiful saffrony color, and it just coats your mouth, man. This is so good. Let me try it with a little bit of the rice and let you guys know what that tastes like. Outstanding, guys. Absolutely outstanding. Like, I have to say that this is probably the best chicken curry day that I've tried in all of Toronto so far. Hands down, hands down. On to the next dish. I wanted to show you the very hot bowl of chicken pasanjan stew. This is basically a stew that's made out of uh, walnut paste and some herbs. And this is what it looks like. Let's see if you guys can see. It's got that rich oily goodness on top of it. And that's what it looks like. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Let me know in the comments down below if you would, if this has already won you over to now. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. So, chicken fasanjan. Oh my God, this is like the chicken is. I didn't even touch this, man. I just shredded right up. Like that. you see, right over there. Right there, right there. Super juicy, super like succulent piece of chicken. Let's try it just by itself. Mm. Oh my god. Everything that I've had on this plate in front of me in this beautiful feast has been outstanding and so fundamentally different from each other. I think in one word, the best way to describe this would be candy chicken. <laughs> it has a sweet effervescent kind of taste, but super rich. Again, going back to the eggplant dish that we had, very much feels like a very warm and hearty kind of a dish that is perfect for weather that you have in Toronto right now that is a little like little cold just warm the there's a little bit of sunlight for that this dish absolutely rocks you can taste the walnutiness in there honestly i cannot put a finger on the spices that i used in here but the walnut flavor is super dominant and the chicken has been braised in such a way that it just falls apart into your mouth as soon as you're having it. Now I'll try it a little bit with the rice. Let you guys know what that is like. Barberry rice and fasanjan stew. Let's go. There's no other way to describe it. It's super flavorful. Walnutty, nutty kind of a flavor. Um, chickeny nuttiness. Candy chickeny nuttiness. Uh, yeah, 
I'm describing random words over here, but you have to try this out. Definitely, okay, now about think, uh, thinking after a little bit, I think it's not just walnuts, but you can also taste the sourness that you get, the, what I keep calling the candiedness of the chicken. It's probably from pomegranates that's coming over here, and it tastes super, super, super good. So, pomegranate tea, walnut tea, chickeny goodness. That's one way to describe chicken fasanjan stew from Iran. Perfect. All right, guys. So I didn't really tell you guys about what the leg kebab tastes like. The chicken leg kebab, right there. Usually, a lot of people don't take chicken leg because they think it's a little bit drier. But to me personally, leg meat has a lot more flavor in it. So let me try this out. Let you guys know what it tastes like. Oh man, what are they talking about it being dry? This is like super juicy. Right there, broke up easily. Mm. Disintegrates, absolutely disintegrates. I smell more saffrony goodness in the chicken leg kebab than anything else. I think that's the win. Yeah, the chicken leg kebab is the winner. Whoa, boss, absolutely boss. You have to try that out as well over here. You have to try everything out. <laughs> Smoky, saffrony, yogurty. It's just it's the perfect blend of everything. Their uh, their recipes are super boss over here. You have to try out the chicken breast, the chicken leg. And the kubide, the chicken kubide kebabs. Boss, everything is perfect. Guys, I'm pretty sure that their ayran is actually made in house because you can taste the freshness. It's, it's really good. All the dishes here are amazing. Like, right from their kubide to their chicken uh, kebabs to the lovely platter the the rice with berberi the lamb shank uh, the lamb neck the olives uh, the uh, uh, eggplant eggplant uh, stew everything the chicken stew every everything is so so amazing all right guys so this feast has been for the gods literally like this is a lot of food and this food is just beautiful like everything is perfect i'm gonna sit through this i'm gonna try to finish as much as i can i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know guys have you ever tried persian food before if you have let me know where in the comments down below and what did you like the most about persian food I'm super excited to hear about your comments because this has been just magnificent man this is like I don't know words are not coming to mouth because this is it's a feeling it's a feeling more than just pure words right if you guys like this content please like share and subscribe share this with your friends because I want all of your friends to come over here and like support this business like Shamshiri has been phenomenal the owners over here are ridiculously nice people. The food quality is out of this world and the portion sizes are to die for. So good value of money, amazingly delicious food, amazing people. What else could you want? I'm gonna finish this. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Guys, special shout out to Persian Hospitality. The way they treated us, initially we thought that this was actually a family owned restaurant, but it really was not. But the way we were fed over here, it felt as if we were invited into someone's home and they treated us like royalty. So if you have a chance, I would highly recommend you to go and visit this place. And I have the address down in the description below. See ya.